Tom Casey here today speaking to you again about condensation, sweating of air handling units, ducts, registers, things like that. And today we're talking about the fourth issue that drives it, and it's called air leaks. And when we talk about air leaks, we're talking about duct leaks, the leakage of air either out of or into the ductwork, which causes condensation. If you have cold air coming from your air handling unit, it's come across the evaporator coil and the blower is going to push it down the ducts. Um, and there's a leak or air is leaking out of the supply plenum right where the air handling unit and the duct meet, that cold air is going to cool whatever surfaces it blows against just like it cools your home when it blows out of the grill. The problem is that surface is probably in a place where the dew point is much higher like a garage, an attic, someplace where it's hotter and unconditioned, so it's going to sweat. So when cold air blows out, it blows on that surface, the surface is cooled, and then the possibility of sweating is greatly increased. Supply air leaks can also include, occur inside of your actual air handling unit cabinet. They can occur in the cabinet itself. They can also occur where like auxiliary heaters are mounted, where control wires and power wires coming out, where lines and connections make uh, are, are connected to the air handling unit. The air handler is not air free, air leak free. It's full of holes and full of seams and full of gaps. That's why you might even see on a brand new unit, we've got to go ahead and tape some things up on a brand new unit to protect it from sweating and condensating. In On the other side, so the supply side has got cold air in it, the return side is bringing air from your home, which is relatively warm compared to the cold supply air, but it's still colder than outside. But if hot, humid air is allowed to leak from a unconditioned garage or a brutally hot attic, when that hot humid air comes in and it touches any of the surfaces, especially at the air handling unit, all of a sudden it's going to rain. Everything's going to want to sweat. And once anything inside of the system sweats and leaks and gets the insulation in the cabinet all wet, well, wet insulation is no insulation. So then everything's going to be just like continuously operating in a circle it's wet, it sweats, it's wet, it sweats, it's wet, it sweats, and you just get worse and worse and worse. So all the duct connections have to be sealed. That's the number one thing. Then back to the previous video, then once they're all sealed, they have to have full thickness insulation the whole way. The vapor barriers have to be maintained with no gaps so that no air can sneak through rips or tears or gaps in anything. And so good air sealing, when you're sealing duct leaks, good air sealing happens from the inside out. You don't seal ducts on the outside to seal air leaks. You seal them on the inside where they make the connection. Once you seal the inner connection, then as you build each layer, you continue to maintain insulation and air sealing so that the whole thing is proper and it won't leak air. Good sealing requires specific processes. And unfortunately, good old-fashioned duct tape is the worst possible way to seal duct leaks there is. There's much more professional-grade stuff and we need to, to focus on those things first. The other thing about air leaks are, again, in addition to thinking where the junctures and connections are, their worst problems start at the air handler. So you work your way from the air handler outwards because that's where the highest pressure is. And here's an important thing to remember about air leakage. There's two factors that go into how much air leaks. The first is the size of the leak or the size of the hole or the gap or the crack or the seam. So if you have a big hole versus a little hole, kind of common sense, more air is going to leak out of the big hole, right? Well, the second thing is, what's the pressure difference across that hole? So right at the air handling unit where there's all those holes and seams, that's the point of the maximum pressure in the entire air system for airflow. So a small leak at the air handling unit is going to have a big impact versus a bigger leak someplace downstream further away. So we always work from the inside out and from the air handler outwards to make sure that your leaks are sealed. Boom.